guys, this is Shaw Kirby 707 and welcome to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we fought Cortez and defeated him and we got the Zapphire Star from him. So, yeah, in this part, oh, we're gonna get out of the Pirates Gravel and, well, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. How are we gonna escape from Key Hall Key? We don't have a ship. Well, let's just go outside and go back to our crew, I guess. And with that, we blew an, an exit out of this way. So we can come back to Power's Grotto anytime we want to now. Uh, well, unfortunately, my items are full, so I can't get a black book for right now. Hello, Black Eye! You're so adorable! You're so adorable! I love you! You're so adorable! Alright, well, let's find our crew and just figure out a plan how to get out of here. Alright, and here's the other guys, and yeah, let's go back to camp, or they can meet us here. Ah, Mario, welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? What? The spirit or Cortez was guarding the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah, what were you thinking? What were you trying to be nice? Oh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? Brother? Brother? You... What are you doing here? I... I... I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island. I came looking. But ghosts attacked us, and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Huh? Your boat sank too? So are you all stranded here as well? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, hello. What's going on? Where was that coming from? What was that shaking? What? Hold on, huh? What was that? That sounds like cannonballs. Who was trying to hit us? Uh-oh. What is going on here? Ah! What is that? Hey! It's a pirate ship. But it has an x mouse symbol on it. Pardon me, guys. Buh! I mean... Buh! 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 Wait, Four Eyes, what are you doing there? So sorry to surprise you. No way, no need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the Christmas star. Oh, yeah, seriously, good job getting it for me. Oi, now, ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What is he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. Guys, that's not Four Eyes. This isn't obvious. You guys know who this guy is. I mean, really. <laughs> What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... Dun dun dun! Ba 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 ha ha ha! The great Lord Crumb! Oh man, did I fool you! Yeah, it was pretty obvious all the time. We knew it was Lord Crumb. But I just didn't want to spoil it. I was the mastermind in the shadows, running this voyage. It hurt to be this good. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Head over to Crystal Star. Because you know what will happen if you don't. Yeah, he's gonna blast the island and everybody that's on it. Starboard cannons! Four! Fire! Or four cannons! Fire! 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 Ba ha 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 ha! Ah! Yikes! Four eyes with a fire all this time? Madness! Well, what are we all st standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait, I have it. I have a genius. We have a ship at hand. And a fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain would never what you said. He said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? That's crazy. This is Cortez the Pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he let you his ship, huh? He'll cream you. Cream you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cat, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be kin and folder if we sit and wage our tongue. We must at least try Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Wow, Flavio, you're taking a stand in it, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe you're not so bad after all. I mean, trying to protect your crew members? That's very bold. Alright, so we're going to leave Flavio back inside the car gravel into Cortez and hopefully negotiate with him and borrowing his ship. 
I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to borrow this shit? This shit looks amazing. Well, anyways, it's Patrick Cortez, and yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, he we can borrow his shit. Alright, Cortez, I'm back again. I'm not here to steal your treasure this time, though. No way. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, what? It is you again. Did you forget something? Cortez, I, I have to speak to you. Could you let me just a ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? My name is Flavio. We are in a big trouble and we can really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are plastic to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teasiest little while. What are you talking about, Lachacho? I did not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to power in this shit is the mystical Skull Gym. Wait, Skull Gym? That seems familiar. The Skull Gym? You, you mean this? Oh. You! You have the Skull Gym! Oh, uh, yes, yes I do so. Alright, what do you say to say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and let us your ship. I think that's a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend? Your answer is to steal that gem from me, you strutty peacock! You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Whoa, 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 wait just a moment. Do not make me have more to you again. Well, when he fights you, I would throw the stone into the sea where you would never find it. How would that be? Ooh. Yeah, he got you there, Cortez. Brrr, you're out of my bones, senior peacock. Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now, be very careful with that gem. Ah, check and make, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing the negotiation. No, you can take talk your way through the too, I say. Now you take this. Blah. So much dialogue. <laughs> can we get to the boss battle already? Jeez. Ah, now our precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside, anyway. <laughs> then why didn't you help us in the first place? We're getting annoyed by the cannons outside. So Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us. Oh, but for now, we sail. Alright, and with that, Cortez disappears. Uh, before we go on, this is your last chance to do make preparations, but I think I'm pretty much good, so I'm not gonna worry about anything. Although I could get rid of the spike badge, but I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not too worried about any other badges, so yeah. Let's just go on and fight against Lord Crump. Hey, we're coming too! Let's take them, come on, all for one, guys. Oi, oh, hey, little flog of fancy pet hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. Wow, everyone's on board on this creepy cool ship. It's been a millennium since I gave it out into the open uh, upon the sea. Come to the open waters. And all the pirate girls are joining us too. I gotta say, they look pretty dang cool. The embers and the pirate ship together, they look pretty cool. Bah, bah, bah. I got in with the spirit. How's that for boom, gossip, boom? You fire cans here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal. <laughs> I love the papery effect. What the? I gotta say, this is a pretty cool fight scene. I mean, it's not really action y, but it's actually a pretty dang cool cutscene. I like it. You have two ships just circling around the waters. I don't know, it's pretty dang awesome when I first saw this. And. Ha! We got him trapped. Grr, I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice of spirit, take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Yeah, go, go, ghost, pirate ghost. Mario, my captain, it's now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cat. Oh, I thought that was Bobbery talking, but it's actually floppy, but whatever! We're getting to another boss fight. This time, Lord Crump, second round. Bah, I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Bah, enjoy! Alright. So with that, we got Lord Crump. Uh, you know what? I should probably get Gumbella out because I do want to towel him. I forgot about that. Let's towel Lord Crump. I'm a little weak in one turn, but oh well. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Ugh. Max speed 30, attack is 3, and defense is 0. He just attacks normally, so don't worry about him much. But those echoes all around him are worth to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump. Alright, so mainly focus on Crump. 
So that's what Bella wants us to do, just focus on Crown. Alright, well, you heard what she says, focus on Crown. So you know what? I'm going to do that. I could use Power Lift, but I think I'll save that for another turn. Dang, I got a lot of damage from that. Nice. Alright, let's switch to Bobbery, because I want Bobbery in this battle. I think he'll be a good um, partner for this battle. Actually, he is pretty good for this battle, I'm not going to lie. Ha! Ah, there we go again! Alright, well, first of all, I'm going to use the Bomb Squad for these guys, so I can get rid of the x Knots and Lord Crump. Mainly Lord more, more Crump, because he's the biggest threat here. Alright. Yeah, don't worry about the x Knots, just worry about Lord Crump. Alright, I did some damage there, but that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, just block the x Knots. It's very hard to counter them, but Lord Crump, he shouldn't be a problem to counter, although I ain't being highly damaged here. Actually, I'll switch it up to Mario in the front, because I don't want Bobbery to get hurt too much. Alright, come on, Mario, you can do better than that, jeez. What's he doing now? What's he doing? <laughs> You're not gonna get off that, you silly losers! Let's see how you like this! Uh, what's he doing now? x nots Okay, that is pretty bad. Yeah, we don't want these guys on the ceiling. No survey. Yeah, let's just throw bombs at Lord Crump even more. <laughs> Look at those bombs, they're just packed all over the place. And no, 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 fork, 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 fork. And lucky, wow. Oh, we both got lucky. Dang, luckiest three luckies in a row. I never had that happen to me before. Unfortunately, the bombs don't affect the x knot from the ceiling, so I might have to use a quick camera for that. And there you go, Lord Crump is down. Or so you think he is. Yeah, he heals himself off stage. That's actually pretty cheap. And now we got a horde of x knots But uh, man, this is no good. I thought I was almost I was almost ace for a second there, but you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchin. I'm damn, but no way I'm out. Alright, if you say so. Um, I would heal myself, but not quite yet. I think I will later on. I will show off the Crimson Star probably this battle. Besides, look Crimson not that hard to beat, so I think we're, we're all good at beating them. Alright, let's just place our time bomb there, and hopefully they will attack Lord Crump, which I can't see exactly, because they're all in a circle. Yeah, that move it can be a little hard to dodge, but not really all that bad. Alright. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna heal uh, Bobbery and I. So, you know, the Sweet Feast is like Sweet Tree, but it's actually a lot more. This one has a lot more um, icons falling um, on the side, so you can actually get more health. Oh, but watch out for the Poison Shrimp. You wanna watch out for that. Alright, yeah. And this one goes a, lot, a little bit faster than um, Sweet Tree, so right, I'm just gonna be careful not to hit any Poison Shrimps. I'm really concerned about Bobbery, so... But there we go, we got a decent amount of health and FP, so not too bad. Alright, let's place more Bomb Squads to Lord Crumb and his x Knot gang. And there we go. Alright. It should all explode in the next turn, hopefully. Alright. I try to dodge that, but <laughs> I'm not very good at dodging that attack. But I am good at countering his attack when he does that. And kaboom! 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 And there goes the x Knots. Alright, so we got rid of the x Knots, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Nice. So yeah, um, time bombs are actually really useful. At first I thought they weren't that useful, but when I think about it, they actually are. You can stack them up, because in the next turn they're going to explode, and it will create a little domino effect. Um, I can't exactly attack the x Knots, so I'm just going to attack, or place time bombs on where Crump. That's no trouble at all. I mean, they take like 3 damage per hit. So it's not too bad. So, it, so it sh essentially you do a lot of damage with um, the time bombs. Because I believe they do 3 damage per bomb. Which is actually pretty good. Alright, so Lord Crumb is almost done. I think a spin jump should do it. If not, hopefully the time bombs will take care of him. Ah, just one more hit. One more hit. Uh, Bobbery, I don't really have anything but for else for you to do. You know what? Let's just, <laughs> let's just set off fireworks. Let's just set off fireworks. How about that? <laughs> Alright. Okay, he's got one more attack to do. And that should be it. There we go. And... Aw, oh, I was hoping I could counter him. That would be awesome if I countered him for the last hit, but nope. And there we go. He is down. 
And there we go, level up, yay! Awesome, I need to level up. Alright, so last time I leveled up my HP, now I'm gonna level up my FP, yay! Alright, good, good, good ending to the chapter, good ending to the chapter, yay! Alright, so FP is now to 35, and we defeated Lord Crump. Man, this is getting old! How could I lose? Again! I hate losing! Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. Grrr! And with that, pow! I'm gone! And there goes Lord Crump. We did it, old boy! I should say he won't be too keen on seeing us again, eh? Way to go, eat seaweed! We did it! Eat seaweed! <laughs> wow, nice combat, guys. Nice combat. Well, anyways, guys, that is it for this chapter. So next time, on um, People Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're gonna do the Peach Interlude and the Bowser Interlude. See you guys then! So, this is Shaw Kirby, 707C. Bye!